It's normal for container ships to pitch and roll in heavy seas. But the ship's movement and certain wave conditions can sometimes reinforce one another, causing the container ship to roll uncontrollably. That can be dangerous for both the crew and the cargo. Containers can get loose and fall overboard. And that can happen in a blink of an eye. In less than a minute, a normal roll can grow to life-threatening angles of 25 degrees or more. You naturally want to avoid that if possible. So we present some common situations that can cause extreme rolling, so that you can recognize them and prevent them in the future. Here you can see a scale model sailing with waves from a stern. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong in this situation. The waves aren't especially high. The ship is rolling slightly and barely pitching. But the rhythm of the waves can reinforce the ship's normal roll pattern and cause it to roll heavily. The ship resembles a swing that gets a push from every wave at the top of each roll. The waves from a stern cause the ship to roll parametrically. To recognize and prevent this from happening, you need to pay attention to four things. 1. The direction of the waves. In this situation, they need to come from a stern, up to an angle of 60 degrees. 2. The wavelength. Determine the distance between two wave crests in relation to the length of the ship. 3. The ship's roll period. Use a stopwatch to time five complete rolls, then divide the total time by five. 4. The wave interval. Choose an orientation point alongside the ship, time how long it takes for five wave crests to pass by, then divide the time by 5. If the rolling period, for example 30 seconds, is around twice as long as the wave interval, for example 15 seconds, and the distance between two wave crests is more than half of the ship length, then you need to take immediate action. Gradually change course by at least 45 to 60 degrees and increase the speed of the ship if safety allows. This will keep the waves from reinforcing the ship's role.